Welcome back to 242 Math. I am Raphael Thompson and today we'll be working with Piranha on GLAT Grade 6 Test 1. This is the first of a number of tests that will help your children in the GLAT Grade 6 Mathematics exam. So let's go. Read number 1 Piranha. Write the number 25 in expanded form. Okay, how would you write 25 in expanded form? 20 plus 5. We'll write it on the line. Where do you get the 20 from? To huh? in tenths place. Two tens, and then the five is? Five ones. Five ones, okay. Okay, Piranha, read number two. Write the number that is represented by the Roman numeral X. And what number is represented by the Roman numeral X? Ten. Write it on the line. Very good. Now let's just um, go over some of the Roman numerals. And remember, you're using capital letters for the Roman numerals. For the number 5, what Roman numeral do you use? Capital V. The, Roman, the number 50. Capital L. Very good. The number 100. Capital C. 500. Capital D. 1000. Capital M. Very good. Okay, Piranha, read number 3. Rewrite the date shown shown using the system international format. Oh, that's short. You can write the short form, SI format. Okay, go ahead, read the date. December 23rd, 2010. Write it for us and tell us what you're doing. First, I'm going to write the year, which is 2010, slash the month, which is December 12th, which is December, which is 12th last month, slash the date, which is 23rd. Right, so you go from the largest amount, there would be the year, to the, to the smallest amount, which is the, the day. So it's always year, month, day. Okay, Piranha, read number four. Write this number in the exponent form. Two times two times two. Go ahead. You're going to write two to the power of three. What do you call the three? The exponent. What do you call it, two? The base. And what does the exponent tell you? How much times to multiply the base? How many times you multiply the base? Very good. Okay, Piranha, read number five. Write three and two tenths as a decimal. Write it for me. We're going to write 3.2. Very good. Okay, Piranha, read number six. Name this type of angle. What type of angle is it? An obtuse. What is an obtuse angle? An obtuse angle is greater than 90, but it's less than 180. Okay, so write the name there for me. Very good. Okay, Priyana, read number seven. If the time is 13 hours... 1300, 1300. 1300 hours using a 24-hour clock or army time, what time is it using a 12-hour clock? What time is it using the 12 hour clock? 1 o'clock. Write it there. 1 p.m. Write 1 p.m. Okay. 1 p.m. Okay. 1 p.m. And we know what army time is. 12 noon and then after 1200 hours. Then after that will be 13 up to 2400 hours which would be 12 midnight. Okay Priyana, read number 8. Circle the pattern of dots which correctly shows the rectangular number 6. Circle the correct one. Very good. What would you call the other dots, the dots with the other numbers? The, the triangular numbers. They would be triangular numbers. Very good. Okay, Piranha, read number 9. Use order of operations to calculate 5 plus 2 times 3 minus 1. Okay. Um, what are you going to use? Go ahead. I'm going to use hand dots. What does PEMDAS mean? PEMDAS means parentheses, P stands for parentheses, mm -hmm. E stands for exponents, M stands for multiplication, D stands for divide, A stands for adding, and S stands for subtract. Okay, so that's the order of operations. Okay, so work it for us now. Now I'm going to start with 2 times 3, since that is practically the first step, which would be 5 plus 6 minus 1. Okay, put equal to the front of it. Equal, let's put equal. equal. Now, put equal to the bottom. Continue. 
Next, I'm going to add equal. 5 plus 6 is 11 minus 1. Good. Go on. Subtract is the last operation, so 11 minus 1 is equal to 10. Excellent job, Priyana. Okay, Priyana, read number 10. Write this decimal as a fraction in simplest form. 0.4. Okay, work it at the bottom. 0.4 is equals to 4 over 10. Okay. Take out that line where you put that slash. Just put equal. Oh. That, that slash. 0 0.4 is equal to 4 over 10. Now, where do we go from there? Oh, how do you know it's 10? Why did you put 10? The reason why we put 4 over 10 because 4 is in the 10th place. 10th place place. Very good. Now, we're going to reduce 4 over 10 by 2, which is the highest calming factor of 4 and 10. Okay. 4 over 10 divided by 2, which is to 2 over 5. Very good. You showed all of the steps. She showed all of the steps, 4 divided by 2, 10 divided by 2, because 2 is the HCF, and then you get 2 over 5. Excellent job. Keep your hand, read number 11. Write the name of the line labeled AB, if, if o, o is the center of the circle. What do you call that line? A diameter. Write it for me. Diameter, very good. Okay, Piana, read number 12. Circle the shapes with line with two lines of symmetry. Circle the shapes for me. Rectangle, and then that other one. Draw them in so we would see what you're doing. I'm going to start right here, then go across. Middle. Start right here, and go across. Perfect. Very good. Okay, we're on number 13. Go ahead and work it for us. Tell us the numbers you're adding first. 523 plus 132. Go ahead. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. And 2 plus 3, 5. And 5 plus 1, 6. Answer? 655. Very good. Keep your hand on number 14. Go ahead. We're going to subtract 4.65 minus 2.53. Go ahead. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. 6 minus 5, 1. We're going to add the decimal. And 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. Call that number. 2.12. 2.12. Very good. Keep your hand on number 15. We're going to multiply 3.14 times 2. Go ahead. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. Point. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Okay, the answer? 6.28. Okay, and for these, notice we're not doing anything complicated. So if your child cannot do these, you have to practice them on these again and again so they can get it before they move on to the harder ones. Very good, Piana. Okay, Piana, number 16. We're dividing 6 by 2. So we're going to draw 6 circles. and group them in two. And now we have one, two, three groups. So the answer is three. And there's another way you can do it if you know your tables. Or how can you work in knowing your tables? Well, you can two, two times what is six? Two times three. Yeah, so whatever you multiply by two to get six, then that would be the, be the answer for that question. But she showed you exactly how to work it using the circles. We'll keep your hand on number 17. 23 plus 212 plus three. Okay, what are you going to do first? First, we're going to add 23 plus 212. Okay, do the rough work. Do the rough work to the back. I normally have to add my big numbers on top. Tell us what you're doing. We're adding, we bring it down to two. Then we're going to say one plus two is three, and two plus three is five. Okay, but next time, hold on. 
I need you to, to add it from, that's okay, Nick. I need you to add it from the back. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Take that out. Okay, add it again. 2 plus 3 is 5. 1 plus 2 is 3. And we're going to bring down 2. Okay, so write equal 235 plus 3. Now we're going to add 235 plus 3. 5 plus 3, 8. Bring, we're going to bring down 3, and we're going to bring down 2. Final answer. Our answer is 238. Very good. So it was, you had to add twice, and that's what she did. You got 235, and you had 212 and 23. Then you added 3, and you get 238. Excellent job. Okay, number 18. 3 over 8 minus 1 over 8. Working. We're going to put 3 minus 1, and we're going to put them both over 8. Good. Then we're going to say 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 over 8. Put the equal sign. Equal. Okay, put the answer. Can you reduce 2 over 8? Yes, sir. What would you get? 1 over 4. How? You divide by? We divide by the greatest common factor, 2. 2, so you get 1 over 4. Okay, we don't, we don't need to divide it. The answer is 2 over 8 is correct. Very good, Piranha. Let's go on. Okay, number 19. 2 times 4 times 3. Answer? Okay, we're going times 2 times 4, which is equals to 8. Then we're going times 8 by 3, which is equals 24. Put the answer. Very good. You multiply twice, and the answer is 24. So keep your hand read number 20. Find 20% of $500. How would you work it? I'm going to put 20 over 100 times 500 over 1. Why do you put times? Because of oh, okay. these times. times. Very good. What are you doing next? We're going to reduce 100 and 500. Divide by 100. 100. Go ahead. That will put be a five. Put a 5 up there. Just. 20 over 1 times 5 over 1. Equal? Equals 20 times 5 is equals to 100 over 1. Same thing as 100. Put the dollar sign in the front of it. Dollar sign. Dollars. Now there's another way to do it. If you say percent means out of 100, 20 percent, show us how you can do it on your fingers, Priyana. If you're saying 20 means, 20 percent means 20 for every 100. 20, you 40, come. 60, 80, and 100. Do it again. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Very good. She held up five fingers. She counted five fingers and then she got to 100. So that's the easy way to do it on your fingers. Okay, read number 21. 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4. Okay, a quarter plus a quarter. 1 plus 1 over 4, which is equal to 2 over 4. Okay, put that answer. Reduce it for me. What would you get? Don't one put it. Just tell me, two. one over two, you divide by? We, we divide it by the, by the greatest common factor. The two. highest common factor, highest the greatest common factor. common factor, which is two. So you get one over two, but that's the answer we need right there. Okay, Piana, read number 22. When you add these two numbers, you get five. When you multiply the, the same two numbers, you get six. Write these two numbers. What are the two numbers? Two and three. So write them in, two comma three. Let's check. When you add, you get 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3, add them. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Multiply them. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Very good. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. God bless you, and we'll see you in the next one. That's a wrap.